Hello, uh, my name is Tony Budd. I am a chef instructor and assessor uh, from Dumfries and Galway College. Um, I will be taking you through your course, uh, which is Professional Cookery Level, level 4. Um, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the one of the first practical um, units that you'll do, which is prepare vegetables. So what I've got here is the vegetables that I will come and assess you. Um, and go through all the different cuts and the different types of vegetables that you'll be using. Um, if you're um, in the, the usual place or at school, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get you to make a, a soup. Um, this soup that I'm going to show you with all these ingredients, you can either make into a minestrone or a vegetable soup. Uh, just putting in a wee bit of garlic and maybe some spaghetti, spaghetti tomato puree and things like that at the end. Um, if you're making a vegetable soup, of course, you can make it into a scotch broth or you can put some pulses and things into that and, and make it a nice vegetable soup. Um, what you will do is you will receive this and what you can do is at the school or in the, in the usual place, you can work your way through this um, checklist and go through the different stages and you will get trained uh, in all the different stages, all the different chopping skills and by the time I come to assess you, you will be absolutely up to speed with all the techniques and also the vegetables and things that you need to know um, to get you through the first um, the first assessment. Okay, so what we've got is uh, in here we've got some peas. So what you'll need to do is defrost the peas. I'll need to assess you defrosting peas and also some green beans. Okay. So as we work our way through the checklist, um, I will have this whenever you're doing your formal assessment um, and I will assess you going through all the different cuts and using the different chopping techniques and things like that. So this is the checklist. I'll take it off. You uh, sign it uh, and then a witness from the, from the kitchen um, will sign it as well and I'll, I'll sign it as your assessor. So that's the kind of prep seat. So it's quite easy and quite simple to follow. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, get my onions. So whenever I come to assess you, you'll have your bench more or less set up like this. Nice, neat and tidy. Everything you've got that you need here. Um, things like the potatoes, you could have peeled in some cold water, ready um, for me arriving. I don't need to see you peeling the, peeling the potato. Um, Things like the carrots and the turnip, you could maybe have peeled as well, but uh, it's, not, it's not crucial to have them peeled. You can do it while I'm there, but it just cuts down on the time a wee bit. So what I'll do is I'll start with the turnip. So we've got the turnip. I'll just turn this gas down a wee bit. This is what we're going to blanch our tomatoes in later on, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what, once you've first signed up for the the course, your uh, teachers or your mentors will take you through all the different steps of uh, what you need to do before you come to your assessment. So you will get well trained and once you're ready and once you're comfortable and you feel ready, then they will um, let me know. I'll come in and uh, assess you with all your different chopping skills. Okay, so we'll just start with the turnips. What I've done is I've, I've cut it in half uh, and then I'm just going to stabilize the bottom like so. And as you can see, I've got a, a bowl here for all my rubbish. So I'll put my rubbish in there. So I'll be assessing you on how clean and tidy you work. And also make sure you wash your hands uh, first when you enter the kitchen and also before you start the task. So as I can see, that you're, you're nice and clean. You wash your hands. You've got no jewellery, things like that on. Okay. So we just peel the turnip and then just cut down like so. All the way down and just take the skin off the off the turnip like that. make sure you take all the skin off like that and then we'll just put that in here then you're going to cut it into strips and what I do is I try and angle it and use both ends of the knife like so. So if you kind of twist it and turn it, put a bit of pressure on the 
on the knife and then just slice down like that. Again, and they're just nice and even. So if you kind of rock the knife, it's a lot easier to go through the to go through the turnip like so, and keep doing that all the way down. So then you've got your strips of turnip, and then what we're going to do is cut them into batons, and then paysan, okay, which is like a small dice except a slice of a dice is the best way to describe it. So it's just slices really, and we we'll cut them nice and fine. So you can see I'm using all the different techniques. Uh, I'm keeping my hand like that, tucking my fingers in, and then putting them on the board like this. Whenever I'm using a knife, I don't bring it up too far to cut into my, my finger. So I'm keeping it on the board, keep my fingers down, keeping the tip of the knife on the board, and then just a rocking motion. And you're letting the knife do all the work, okay? You're letting the knife do all the chopping and take it nice and easy. You don't want to end up going like that. You end up with a sore wrist, fatigue on your hand, um, and then after you've chopped a few turnips, you'll end up with a sore, sore wrist. So you let the knife do all the all the work. So you can see I'm rocking it, keep my not going above my knuckle, and then just doing nice paysan all the way down, like so. And then what you'll do is you'll have a tray and you'll keep piling it onto the tray like so. Keeping it nice and neat, okay? That. And then again, chop. And then we'll pile it on there. So just break it up. You need to make sure they're all the same size so they all cook the same speed. And also, whenever you make the, the soup, um, whenever the customer goes to eat it, they're not getting a big, massive lump of um, turnip, one or bigger, bigger than the other. So you keep them all nice and even in size. The turnip that you have left, uh, what you need to do is wrap that, put a label on it, and then store it in the in the fridge, and keep that for later. Okay. So we've got that. I'm not going to chop all of it. Okay. So I'll keep that, and I'll put that in my rubbish bowl. But I'll take it back out and use it later on. Okay. So. We We've got our bench, keep your bench nice and clean and tidy. A little wipe, like so. And that is it. So the next thing we're going to do is the carrot. So we've got our carrots, we're going to use our speed peeler and then just peel that again into your rubbish tin, like so. Keep peeling it. Like so I've got two carrots here. Um, Whenever you come to use your sheet, um, at the back of it, it's got a utensil list and also the weights of the, the carrots and the ingredients that you need. So you just follow that. Um, I'm basically just showing you uh, what I'll be looking for whenever I come in to, to assess you, okay? So you've got your carrots, then you just take off the end. Take off the end, cut it in half. Make sure your board's nice and secure, okay? So you've got the little non-slip mat, uh, put that underneath. Keep your board nice and safe. Only have on the board what you're chopping, okay? So keep it nice and clear. Don't have knives and things sitting about on your board. So you keep your board nice and clear, only what you need. And then just gently, nice slice. So you can see I'm kind of moving the knife along like that. So that keeps it, you can control the knife a wee bit more and also it's easier to cut, so you're letting the knife do all the work, okay? So we're doing that, and cutting down, so you can see that goes through it quite easily, like so. Again, I'm not gonna use all the carrots, so I'll put that over here for later. And then again, what we're gonna do is cutting little batons, and then paysan, like that. So if you look at a paysan, like that, okay? So a nice wee square. And we'll just do that. We'll do these a wee bit bigger so as you can see them. So they're a bit bigger. Um, so you can see what a, what a paysan looks like. And I'll cut these a bit bigger as well. Okay, so just take your time at the start. You'll not be as quick as this. Remember, I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, so 
and I'm using all the techniques. So you can see I'm looking at the camera, not looking at my fingers because I know exactly where my hands are, where the knife is, because I'm using all the different techniques. Okay, so I'm feeling it, but that comes with experience. And um, so what you'll do is just take your time, just do it nice and slowly and just take your time. Okay, so these are a bit of rag sizes because I wanted to show you uh, a little bigger cut. So as you know what a, a, a carrot kind of the paisan looks like. Okay, so we've got that. We're a bit heavy on the carrots, but it doesn't matter. And the next thing is the leeks. Okay, so we've got our leeks. Remember, leeks, um, they're going to be a wee bit dirty, going to be a wee bit gritty. So what you need to do is uh, wash them. So we take off the end, split them in two, like that. Split them in two. And then what you're going to do is take the leaves off. And in here you'll see all the bits of grit. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's bits of grit and things in there. So you don't want that in your soup. So whenever you make your soup, the customer goes to eat it, it's all gritty. And apart from the fact that it's not very uh, not very hygienic, okay? So split that down and I'll just go over to the sink here and just give it a quick wash and give it a, a wash out. So yeah. So I've washed out my leeks, give them a wee rinse, we shake in the sink. And then what we're going to do is cut these into paisan. Okay, there's a wee bit, far too much leek here. So let's take that apart. So now we've got our, got our leek. Again, we're going to cut these in paisan as well. So we'll cut them down there. Cut these in half like that. And then just nice paisan. So you can see that. These are nice paysan. You can see them on the board, hopefully, and then just cut them like this. Okay. And we'll just pile them on the board as well, like this. So, there we go. So we've got our legs done. And then we'll move on to some celery. So we've got our celery. Again, celery can be a wee bit gritty down in here as well, so that's pretty clean. Um, I'll give it a little wash before we start it, and it's pretty clean, so keep that there. And then what you're going to do is take the little sinews off, okay? So if you just nip off the top, and then what you can use is you can either use your speed peeler, just take the bottom off, put this in here for a stock later on, and cut the bottom off here. Make sure your board's clear, remember, um, put that in, keep the board nice and clear. And then we're going to take out the sinews, so we'll take that, so you can see the little sinews coming out. Okay, so you don't want them in your soup, very hard to digest, and also uh, whenever somebody gets it in the soup, they might think it's a hair or something like that, and it's not very pleasant to eat, so we take them out. Take them all out, like so. Or you can use, as I say, you can use a speed peeler if you want, if it's a lot easier, um, it's up to you. So I just generally do that with the knife, just kind of catching it at the top and peeling it out. What you can use is just run it down with the, the speed peeler and just take them off like that and just kind of peel, peel the outside, like so. Okay, so there's two ways you can do it. Like that. And then again, we just cut these in half and then cut them into paysan. So you want them nice bite size. Yeah. When I was at college, uh, we done brumoise, julienne, paysan, and the, the lecturer would come around and make, measure them and make sure they're the right size. So it was a wee bit over the top, but uh, you soon learnt um, how to cut and how to get them to the right size. These are a bit mix and matches, more like a Macedon of age, okay. So we've got our paysan, cut them, like that. And all these different cuts, you'll learn as you go through, as you go through the, the units, okay, especially the, the practical units, you'll learn all the different um, different cuts. So we're just, I'm cutting these a bit bigger, so as you can see them. So we've got nice paysan of celery, so we'll just pile that on there as well. 
So normally you cut them a wee bit smaller and um, just remember when the, the customer's eating the soup. Yeah. So we'll do that. And then we'll give this another cut. Another cut like that. Yep. So we've got them all nicely cut. So you can see my tray's starting to look quite nice. My hat's a bit small, so it's, it's kind of falling off a wee bit, but anyway. So we've got the cabbage. What you'll use is Savoy cabbage, which is similar to this, only but the leaves are a lot curlier. Um, or you can use this flat leaf uh, green cabbage. Okay, so Savoy cabbage is quite nice. This is also quite nice. So we'll just peel off the, the stalks. So they're both similar uh, in terms of how you prep them up. Okay, so we we'll take off the, a couple of leaves like this, pull them off, and you've got your leaves. So then what you want to do is take out this middle stalk because it's quite hard to cook. And we just take that out like that. So it's literally just peel it out. So, and the same with the other one. Just take out the stalk, take it out like that, and in there. So then we're going to cut these into strips. So, nice strips. Like that. Okay, so I'll just kind of speed it up a wee bit. Fold it over, cut it in nice strips. And that's it. So we've got that all nicely cut in the strips. So we gather it all together and then just put it together. Try and get them all the same size. Again, I don't want you to go at this speed, okay? Just take your time. And yeah, we've got them all nicely cut, nice and small. And then that goes onto your tray. So you've got a nice pile of cabbage ready for your soup. That's a bit big, that one. Okay, so I'm cutting these a wee bit bigger than normal, just so as you can see it on the, on the camera. And we've got that. So the next thing is the onion. So you'll have your onion. What we'll do is I'll just quickly wipe my bench down. So you're keeping it nice and clean, nice and tidy. Wiping it all down. Like that, and there we waste bowl. So I'm keeping it neat. So we'll dice up the onion. So we we'll take all the skin off, the brown skin around the outside, take that off. And just take off the three ends. What you don't want to do is take too much off the root end and um, because that's what holds it all together. Okay, so the root holds it together and then we take off the skin from the outside. This. Take it off. That and then we'll do the same with the second one. Right. And peel it all down. Got that, and then I'll just quickly take off any of the outside brown leaves into the bowl. And then what you're going to do is have the root to this side, okay? So that's the root where the, the root comes out. Um, and then you're going to cut in towards the root, like so. Right the whole way in, and then a saw in action in towards the root, don't try and push it or it'll slip and, and cut into your hand. So you're using a little sawing action, just gently sawing into it like so. And then nice fine dice, okay. So you can see you're using a, a, a wee bit of a different technique. I'm still gripping the onion like that. And the tip of the, the knife's a wee bit off the board, okay. So but I'm just being really careful and making sure that I don't bring the blade of the knife up too far. And then that would cut your fingers. Okay, so our tray is looking quite good. We've got our onions in here. And then what I'll do is I'll just quickly chop this other onion for you. So we've got the root. Cutting in towards the root, not the whole way. Then saw in action. In with a knife slightly angled towards the board. And then just chop. Chop. 
and then just finally chop it. So you want it nice and fine. You don't want big bits of onion in the soup. Okay, so we've got all that there. And just tidy my board up. And then the final bit of chopping is the onion, the potato, sorry, and the, the green beans. So I'll just give my hand a quick, quick wash over here in the sink. And then we will continue on with the rest. So now we're going to move on to the potatoes. So you can see my bench is still a bit messy, so I'll just give it a quick tidy up. Okay, so you try and work nice and as tidy as you can all the way through. So we've got our potatoes, so you can have these peeled ready and I'll just dice these up. So we're going to cut these in paisan as well. So as you're working through it, as you're chopping and cutting uh, and you're kind of relaxed a wee bit more, I'll ask you some, some questions just to make sure that you've, uh, you've understood what you're doing and uh, you understand the different cuts and things like that. So you should be quite confident by the time you come to this stage and you'll not mind me uh, asking you questions. I'll be in the kitchen all the time, uh, every day, near enough. Uh, with the user place, I'll be in um, assessing the rest of the candidates. So you'll see me about, uh, about the kitchen and things like that. So. I'm usually in the usual place, usually in the usual place, uh, about once a week anyway, at the, at the very minimum, and sometimes every day of the week. So you'll see me about, and uh, you'll get used to me, and get used to my personality and things like that. So you should be pretty well relaxed, and uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're all here to help you pass, okay? So that is our, our main aim, is to make sure that you pass, all right? So you just keep practicing all the different cuts, and keep chopping all the time, practicing, practicing, and that, that's the only way you'll get good is uh, through practice. So we've got that, and then we we'll just give that a quick chop. So I'm trying to keep all the all the pieces the same size. Um, again, these are slightly bigger than normal, just to let you see them on the camera. I'm not sure how clear it's coming through. So in here we've got our green beans, so don't forget, I need to see you uh, defrosting the green beans and the peas, so you'll see that they're they're both in this massive uh, strainer that I've got. Um, so I've got these, and then what we're going to do is cut them in little diamonds, uh, or near enough diamond shapes. So you just cut them at an angle, like so, and just cut them up, and they, they'll go into your soup at the very, very end, okay? So the things that you put in at the end are your cabbage and the green beans. We're not going to make the soup today, as I mentioned earlier on. You're going to make that with your mentor. Uh, at this stage and with this unit, all I need to do is see you doing the chopping and also uh, blanching the tomatoes, which I'll show you in, in a few seconds. So we'll just cut all this like that. And then I'll just cut a couple more green beans and put them in my tray so as you can see them. I'm just cutting them at an angle, so they're kind of like almost like a little diamond shape. And uh, I'll just move that there, put these here so as you can see it. So we've got our green beans. So the, the ingredients are a wee bit out of uh, sync. Okay, there's some, there's not too many green beans, there's a lot of other veg, but whenever you come to do it, the, the measurements are all on the recipe at the back, so, which is not crucial. The main thing I'm looking for is uh, your chopping skills and, and how you cut and you know the pays on, and I'll be kind of constantly asking you questions as you go through it. So. We'll move on to the tomatoes before my water all boils away. Um, take out the stalks. Yeah, so we take them out like that. And then what we'll do is we we'll use this uh, cold water that I had the potatoes in just to show you. And we'll have that. And then what I'm going to do is you'll probably be better using a smaller knife maybe than, than this knife. And then you just make a quick cross on the top. So a quick nick on the top. And then what you do as well is take out the cork at the bottom. And you'll see why in a few seconds once I've launched these in the in the water. So you just pop them in the water uh, and just be careful and then take out the bottom cork and then just quickly cross the top like so and then we'll pop them into water like that. I'll just get a wee bit more water from my pot and make sure it's filled up. So 
So you will practice this, you'll practice this a few times uh, to make sure you're absolutely up to speed. Um, you'll, you'll blanch a lot of tomatoes and practice and practice and once you're ready to be assessed um, then we will you will be assessed so your mentor will um, contact me I'll come in assess you and do that and then you, you know you work your way through the workbooks and the if you're at the usual place, you'll use the paper copies. If you're anywhere else, you'll go online and everything's uh, all laid out online and you will work your way through that. So I've got my, my little spoon. So we'll just wait a couple of seconds. This shouldn't take too long to, to blanch. Um, the scooter's quite quick. So the main thing is that you, you just um, relax, take your time. A lot of people get a bit nervous, even though you've done this maybe a hundred times, you get a wee bit nervous when it comes to doing your assessment. Um, the thing is not to be not to be nervous. Um, we're there to kind of teach you and things like that. So if you do make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Um, we can capture it later. Uh, or if we think that you need a wee bit more practice, then you need a wee bit more practice. So. Um, especially at the usual pace, there's no real time limit, so it's done at your speed, your time, and uh, and just work our way through it. So this is just coming to the boil. So what's happening is the the heat of the the water. Normally we just drop that into really boiling water. The heat of the water releases the skin from the flesh, and then you just peel it off. Um, a lot of places when they're using tomato. Um, and as well in your own places is they, they use tin tomatoes and things like that but this is a, a skill that you need to learn and it's good to know that this is how you, um, this is how you prepare a tomato so these are just coming up nicely the skin's starting to come off so I'll just lift this one out and just let you see okay so pop it into there just to cool it down a wee bit and then we lift it out so you can see the skins came off and if you peel it down, it should release nicely at the bottom. Yep. If you don't do that at the cork, then it'll not come off cleanly and you'll end up trying to tug it off. So we do the cork and then just peel it down and then it just comes off really, really easy. Okay. So you don't want to leave it in the water too long or it starts to cook the, the flesh and then it becomes uh, just an absolute mush and really difficult to work with. So you can see this is still quite firm and I'm just peeling this all off. Perfect, beautiful, and it's all just coming off nicely, like so. I'll just leave that other one and let it overcook slightly so as you can see that. So we've got our tomato, and I'll just move that over here. And then again, what you're going to do is just cut it in half, and then cut it, like so. And then just take out the, the seeds, put them in here, oops, and do the same with the rest all the way around and that is that so we've got that we've got that and we've got this and then what will happen is you're with all these ingredients you'll make a soup okay um, and you'll make that so I'll just rescue this other tomato so you can see it's slightly overcooked and the skin's starting to come off like that so I'll just pop that in there and let it cool down Turn off my cooker and all the way around like that. Yep, so we're just taking out the seeds like so. Normally in your everyday making soup you wouldn't go through all this. You would just open a tin of chopped tomatoes um, and just use them. But you need to know the right way to do things before you can start uh, using other products okay so and then just chop that up so if you know if you know the the right way to do things and you know how it should look properly then when it comes to using other products you'll know what it's supposed to look like
So we've got all that, and we'll put that in there. And then I'll just quickly show you uh, something with the spaghetti. So if you were going to make the minestrone, we'd add maybe a wee bit of garlic, crush a bit of garlic, uh, maybe a wee tiny, tiny bit of chilli, some sugar, and obviously uh, the tins of tomatoes and, and spaghetti and make the, the make the minestrone. But you, you don't have to make minestrone, you can make vegetable soup. Uh, the main thing for me is that you use all the different types of leaves, stems, tubes, root vegetables, bulbs, all these type of things. And you'll learn that as you go through the work packs. Just going to get some spaghetti here. Just to show you uh, the spaghetti. Um, in your work it will come in bigger packs than that. So we take some out and I find this is the best way to to add spaghetti to your soup. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you this trick. That's not really a trick, it's just a kind of method. Um, so you've got your nice clean cloth that I've been wiping the bench. So you keep it nice and clean, put it in there and then just wrap that up. So keep wrapping that up. And roll it in a cloth and then just run it over the edge of the bench and then you've got your spaghetti ready to go into the soup nice bite size sizes and it should come out of the cloth he says yep so we've got it there so it breaks it up quite nice and neat and you've got your spaghetti ready to go into the soup so what you would do is put that in near the end, you know, about 10 minutes before your soup's ready, while it's still boiling, and then just empty the spaghetti in and keep stirring it and it'll not stick. So that is it. Hopefully I've covered everything. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a second video with the cooked vegetables. And then I'll also do one for you for the, the sandwiches. So this will give you an idea what you're what you're in for and uh, what I'll be looking for whenever you come to the assessment. So it's quite easy as you can see. Uh, and the main thing is, you know, I'll, I'll be asking you your knowledge on the different cuts and also the different types of vegetables like leaves, stems. You can see here the finished minestrone soup, nice beautiful tomato colour. And this is what you'll be producing with the ingredients. Here are some brief slides just to take you through the different cuts and uh, some of the, the, the vegetable cuts and techniques that you'll need and hopefully these will be useful.